MBBS now has become just a road way to get into PG. But is it really so? MBBS is a basic graduation degree. After that, the world is open to you. A lot of people who are not designed for it to be into that and then they lose out on a lot of other opportunities because someone who's uh, post MBBS, there are many opportunities where you can actually make pretty decent careers and grow independently. And I think doctors should take up more administrative roles and they are taking it up. Hello students and welcome to Medid. I'm Dr. Patil. I'm a faculty of medicine and today we are going to discuss opportunities after MBBS. And my friends are Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi. You know them. Yes, when the opportunities come, they have no opportunity to leave for the rest of the people. Stand up, they do this. ENT practice, they do this. Innovations, they do this. Teaching, they do this. So maybe the opportunities are not left. Whatever is left, we will talk about it. So Dr. Jagdish. Yes. MBBS now has become just a road way to get into PG. But is it really so? Or can an MBBS student step out of the medical school and think radically different and do something outside the healthcare purview? No, absolutely. See, uh, MBBS is a basic graduation degree. Hmm. After that, the world is open to you. Um, if somebody is interested in a particular field, whether medical or non-medical, hmm. that interest should drive. They made up this is what I feel works in the long run. But interest is not driving. That's what is a bit concerning. People think that post-graduation is a hard must requirement. Mm -hmm. Even if I am interested, not interested, I cannot survive without a post-graduation or without following something that everyone follows, which kind of puts a lot of people who are not designed for it mm -hmm. to be into that. And then they lose out on a lot of other opportunities because mm -hmm. for uh, someone who's uh, post MBBS, mm -hmm. there are many opportunities yeah. where you can actually make pretty decent careers and grow independently. So like, can you list some yeah. choices that these people can think of? See, either you can take a clinical route or you can take a paraclinical or non-clinical route. Now, for example, somebody who's finished MBBS, uh, you can uh, start your own clinic. Many people say we are not confident, but you work with some doctors for some time who run mm -hmm. their clinics or work in a hospital for two, three years, get some confidence and then start it. But within three to five years after your MBBS, you can do it. You can also become an in-service uh, candidate, you know, mm -hmm. for the uh, armed forces or also even for your state health uh, mm -hmm. uh, ministry. Um, IIT Kharagpur runs a very interesting course called MMST. Yeah, I've heard about medical it. Medical Science, Masters of Medical Science and Technology, technology. which is purely for MBBS graduates who want to enter the medical and technology field from an IIT and then that funnels and opens up a big, you know, healthcare space to join healthcare companies and all of that. You can always uh, do an MBA and start your own startup company without an MBA also. You can start your own company. A lot of job opportunities in the insurance uh, space, uh, especially uh, there and also with government projects and government programs as program officers, uh, a lot of these national programs uh, that are there uh, within the Indian gamut. So. There are actually a lot of ways that, uh, you know, one can uh, explore themselves based on their uh, interest. interest. Um, and also, uh, of course, uh, you know, doing health administration. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of doctors also now getting into health informatics with AI yeah. and technology coming. How do you, with so much data, are you making sense out of that data? And that data is very important. So health informatics will improve efficiency of technologies, hospitals, patient outcomes, yeah care and this health informatics right now are not very competitive. Yeah. Um, this Masters of Public Health also has become slightly competitive. MBAs have also become competitive. But all of these are just degrees that, you know, support you and can give you a good identity and a course. Yeah. And those who want to work in a job space, like they're not ready to take an entrepreneurial route or they don't yeah. have the instinct to sell an idea or, yeah. uh, or sell themselves. For them, jobs are also plenty yeah. post MBBS. Yes. So as we know, Government of India runs a UPSC CMS to yes. recruit MBBS level doctors to government services. And that also not only gives you a job, gives you handsome pay in today's standards, Absolutely. also gives you opportunities to get in-service route to Correct. PG. Correct. So it is not that after MBBS, if you step into a job, you are forever going away from the yes. chances of doing a PG. You can still get back to the PG having a stable life for next couple of years and then getting back to the PG is also a possibility. And apart from that, I, I have personally seen doctors showing less interest in administrative work, especially the government administrative work. So when we hear about IA stoppers, yes. it's mostly people coming from the yes. fundamental education or people coming from engineering background, those right. IITs and or IIMs. 
but i think don't you think there is no i think more need uh, for doctors getting into administration in fact one of the reasons why we have a lot of conflicts or probably i would say yeah. inefficient running of hospitals yeah. i don't uh, i'm not basically trying to say they are not good yeah. but somewhere they do not understand what a doctor understands yeah. from their training and i think we as doctors who understand right from seeing yeah. patients if we run hospitals we're going to run it ob- obviously with a lot more empathy towards the healthcare space yeah. rather than just being pure business or engineering uh, you know technical yeah. uh, standpoint and i think doctors should take up more administrative roles and they are taking it up uh, but i think there's a lot of scope in uh, job opportunities yeah. uh, from uh, that standpoint so i agree yeah. with you there yeah. so like these are the important avenues which one can explore if he is not decided or if he feels that i am not cut out for continuing education in the medical sphere itself yeah. there are plenty of opportunities yes. and do you think the income will be low if you don't take the pg route no actually there i, I don't think many pgs are also earning what they actually <laughs> thought that they will yeah. earn the earning is purely based on your ability actually not mm-hmm. so much your courses just help you a bit Uh, but i think with your uh, mbbs degree and uh, certain other things that you upskill yourself with maybe with certain other fellowships or certain other degrees and your work experience i think you can have a a fairly consistent uh, you know pay base which i think would be anywhere between 1.2 to 2 lakhs per month mm. i think is a decent one uh, you know for the first 5 10 years of your life and then later on you know mm. you can uh, you can grow accordingly and there's also mm. the factory space yeah. occupational health space yeah. sports medicine space a uh, lot of these spaces all requiring healthcare profession in fact some of them can give you exponential growth absolutely like if you are into yeah. sports medicine and if you happen yeah. to land a like if you are skilled enough if you know to market yourself well absolutely. you may land up in some like national or international teams yeah uh, yeah yeah of course uh, board of course. and that is definitely and uh, much more lucrative than doing some pg and settling in some place earlier sports used to be only national now yeah. it is becoming privatized so you're going yeah. to have many leagues many smaller yeah. leagues many sub leagues all will require yeah. people injuries and yeah. health is required so i think guys it's uh, the your mind has to be open and it has to align yeah. with your skills and your abilities uh, don't think that you have to only do what uh, your peers are telling based yeah. on their insecurities see what you are good at what you are comfortable with work life balance is important yeah. and uh, that will only come when you do something that you are interested in true absolutely true last point i would like to add is doctors need to learn money management mm-hmm. because even if you are making 10 lakhs but if you don't know how to manage the money yeah. then you will drain it down the line but if you know the money management even if you are making 1 lakh you can have a peaceful and satisfying life that's the take home message so with that me and dr jagdish are signing off we will be connecting with you on another such video where we will be talking about another interesting topic till then have a good time bye bye all the best guys bye bye